Most people learning 3D are learning wrong. And this wrong style of learning leads to a lot of frustration, a lack of motivation, and lots of limiting beliefs. Since I see this so much, I wanted to make a video explaining why such a mindset is simply incorrect. So let's pop back several years ago to when I was learning 3D myself. I was learning a ton from the creator of Hard Ops, Master Xeon 1001, and I would spend weeks just studying his stuff all day, every day. There weren't really many tutorials on these add-ons out there, so that's all I really had to work with. And what I learned doing this was pretty interesting. Yes, I learned modeling techniques, and yes, I learned different approaches to using Blender, but what actually gave me the highest ROI or those hidden 1% gems. Now, a lot of you watching these videos are probably competent enough in Blender to at least make some basic stuff. Sure, you might not have the tools dialed in quite yet, and you might not be at pro level, but that simply takes time. But an issue I see with a lot of you is you'll end up watching tutorials to learn more and will get frustrated if there's a certain part you don't understand or get stuck on. Even if 90% of the video you were able to follow along with, once you hit that small, minor, 10% roadblock, what this does is it begins to trigger a lot of self-destructive beliefs. And this is where you need to refocus that energy to reinforce the positive feedback loops while you're learning. Instead of thinking, damn, this part is difficult and doesn't make sense to me, I need a break, think to yourself, holy shit, that small little technique you use there, that small modeling trick you used over there is insane. I definitely need to incorporate that more into my workflow. Now, what you're doing is taking the same exact predicament you're in and spinning it into something causing a positive feedback loop during your work. Although you didn't understand the entire tutorial, you picked up a lot of hidden gems you wouldn't have known otherwise. And this should be your main approach when learning. In fact, some of the best ways I was able to learn Blender and even marketing for my business was just picking up this small little hidden gems along the way. You won't always understand everything and you won't always feel like a certain tutorial clicks, but if you reorient your learning approach to something focused on accumulating small hidden wins, these compound over time and eventually the stuff you struggled on just starts to solve itself. This is a big thing I noticed when I was learning Blender and I'll give you an example. One concept that frustrated me a lot when learning hard surface modeling was the concept of cutting the cutter. I don't know why, but back then when I was learning, it was really confusing for me. Now, basically in hard surface modeling, what cutting the cutter means is if you have a Boolean cut, you can run a Boolean on that Boolean, which will in turn bring back the main part of the mesh. A little bit confusing and usually I'm pretty Pretty good at explaining things, but even this one is a bit tough to explain. Now, I could have gotten frustrated watching tutorials when this technique was implemented, but instead what I focused more on was the general picture and the small bits and pieces that I was picking up that actually expanded my workflow. And what I noticed was that over time, as more and more information was accumulated in my brain, this tricky topic basically solved itself. One day I just woke up and it clicked. I don't know why and I don't know what triggered it, but I would bet money it was because of my constant focus on the small wins and the bits and pieces which eventually all came together to help me solve that bigger headache I was having. So when you're learning Blender or anything for that matter, it is a much more powerful technique to focus on the small hidden gems during the process because the more of those you find, the more the tougher stuff just begins to make sense. Your initial problems will begin to solve themselves. Your success in learning Blender is solely based on the mindset that you take going into it. If you get frustrated and quit each time you encounter a roadblock instead of appreciating the small gems you get throughout each session, then you'll be in for a tough time when it comes to succeeding. So please, go into learning Blender with the mindset of, okay, I highly doubt I'll be able to understand everything that's going on, but all these bits and pieces I'm picking up are going to stack and eventually solve my bigger problems. It's insane because now when I go back to the tutorials that I used to watch but didn't understand, they now feel like a walk in the park, really easy. And this same thing will happen to you if you keep with it. So don't give up, keep pushing through, and watch how quickly you actually learn to appreciate the smaller things 
rather than worrying about the bigger roadblocks. Usually, they will sort themselves out over time, so don't get frustrated, stick with it. Now, if you're new to Blender and want to get started with our personal favorite type of modeling, which is hard surface modeling, then check out our free hard surface modeling jumpstart course in the description below or over on blenderbros.com jumpstart. This course has over 40,000 students, plenty of amazing results and feedback, and is the go-to course if you're looking to start with hard surface modeling without wasting time. Again, I'll link that in the description if you're interested. So thanks a bunch, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.